Hey, uh, uh, is this thing on? So apparently almost 300 of you have decided to press the same little red button all at once. We're getting close, but, uh, <laughs> we're not there yet. We'll get there, though. Gather around, folks. Gather around. Ye old King is going to be telling you about tales of yore. Now, for a lot of you who don't know, that unless you're my friend, I'm not much of a people person. However, there are certain groups of people on this planet that should just not exist, who should move away to a very, very, very far away country. They're the reasons why I'm awake at night. Now, people like this come in all shapes and sizes. However, I'm going to be discussing with you some of the few that I genuinely can't stand. The ones that I wish did not exist. With that being said, let's start with the basics. Literally. Kids who do gaming wars? That's a big problem. Now that actually comes in two different segments which I will be covering. The first segment is the console war kids. Console War Kids are actually pretty common to find. They're anywhere on social media. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, sometimes Reddit if you get lucky. And if you come across a Console War Kid, you'll basically see them have a mindset something along the lines of this. I have this certain console, so if I have this certain console, that means I'm superior to in everyone in every way. And anyone who doesn't have this console obviously is the worst human on the planet. I'm better than everyone! Whoa, 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 Mr. Console Man. Alright, we get it. You, you're, you like Xbox or whatever. Cool. Now, Mr. Xbox fanboy, I need to tell you something. I understand that you think you're better than everybody because you own an Xbox. And I know this may be hard to believe, but are you aware that literally no one cares? I mean, I, I get that some consoles have their exclusive games to them, which is kind of why you have that certain console in the first place. Like, Xbox has Gears of War, PlayStation has Spider-Man and Ratchet and Clank. I get that. But that doesn't make one console superior to the other. And that definitely doesn't make you superior to everyone else. Like, for example, all my life I've had PlayStation consoles. Man, I don't go around parading myself with an ego the size of the Empire State Building. And don't ask me why, but for some reason people decided to throw Switch into this console war. I don't know why. Like, Xbox and PlayStation, I get. But Nintendo Switch? Really? I mean, I know for a fact Nintendo Switch is sitting here watching this, and then they get dragged into it, and they're over here like, Hey, could y'all leave me out of this? Next segment of this belongs to the kids who do game wars. Now, these are the kinds of kids who think their game is superior to everyone else's. Like, for example, a lot of these kids will have the mindset of, Fortnite is better than Apex Legends. Call of Duty is better than GTA. And from what I've seen, a lot of the, these game wars is basically a bunch of Fortnite kids hating on all of the other games. Like, because they think Fortnite is better than everything else. And heck, I'm not singling anybody out. I mean, Fortnite gets hate too. And it's not the fact that the games are bad. I've played some of the games myself. But it's the fact that the communities are complete and utter trash. It gives these games a bad name and a bad reputation. And a lot of the times, these Fortnite kids who say that these other games are garbage, they probably haven't even played those games. They probably play like one match and they either lost that match or they die like one second into the game and all of a sudden they decide this game sucks. It's like, I hate to break it to you, Justin, but you die a lot in these games. Kind of like you die a lot in Fortnite, you die a lot in all these other games. Fortnite isn't any different from everything else. Let's move on to the next phase, and this is probably the one that I'm going to get the most heated about. Cancel culture. Now, cancel culture has been around for quite a long time. You see this mostly on Twitter, and you see a lot of YouTubers talking about people getting canceled. And what's funny is, it's mostly a lot of, like, Twitch streamers or YouTubers that are getting cancelled. What makes it even worse is the fact they get cancelled for the dumbest reasons ever. It's like people in cancel culture can cancel someone who did nothing wrong, but when someone, some celebrity or whatever, actually does something wrong, nobody bats an eye. Hmm, I wonder why. This is Twitter we're talking about here. And for the love of all that's holy, I could probably get cancelled right now. 
What are they going to do, cancel me for slandering cancel culture? Well, it's not my fault I'm speaking the truth. And what's funny about cancel culture is the fact that it's basically a bunch of people who get offended by, let's see, um, literally everything. Do you ever wonder what happens to the social reject? Someone could tell a joke, a harmless little joke, and people will try to cancel that person because that joke is racist. Think about what you could have done in that time instead of canceling Jacksepticeye for making a joke tweet because it makes fun of poor people. Like, shut up, dude. There could be a giant asteroid from space flying at us at 100 miles per hour and some cancel culture person would whip out their phone, take a picture of it, post it on Twitter, and try to cancel it for being homophobic. It's like, I don't want to burst your bubble, Linda, but you're not going to cancel a giant space rock hurtling at us because it's homophobic. And you know what's funny? A lot of the times, it's not even like recent things celebrities have said on their Twitter. Cancel culture will go out of their way to find something they said or something they posted in like 2016 or something beyond that time to try to cancel them over. They, they do realize it's called the past for a reason, right? That means it is gone. It is over with. Let it go. Next thing you know, they're going to cancel breathing because it makes fun of asthmatic people. Yeah, right. This next subject's going to get heated really quickly. Not as heated as cancel culture, but still gonna get pretty, pretty, pretty intense. This next phase is covering... Karens. Yikes. Now, the common Karen stereotype is the white moms with the bowl cuts and the Gucci sunglasses, or the Gucci flip-flops, or in very expensive Neiman Marcus purses. They're always either demanding to speak to a manager, yelling at a group of kids at a skate park for literally no reason, or demanding discounts with a coupon that expired 10 years ago. Always causing a scene, always making fools out of themselves, and just always being the dumb people. These Karens have nothing else better to do than harass minimum wage employees always saying that the customer is always right. Newsflash Karen, no they aren't. I'm sorry, but... Don't you have a failed marriage to fix? Shouldn't that be your top priority? Your husband is going to the beaches of California three times, four times a week on a business trip. Isn't that, isn't that raising a few red flags? Like, is that not suspicious at all to you? Uh, this next one's gonna be interesting because the next phase is covering hardcore feminists. Now, I'm not exactly sure how to describe this, but I found someone posted a TikTok video on Reddit, and whenever I watched it, I realized it's the perfect definition of what I'm talking about. Here you go. King Kong vs. Godzilla, where's Queen Kong vs. Godzilla? It's time to take some action and have some female representation and let our girl boss have a chance to be an apex predator. Wow. There's so much wrong with this that I can't even begin to comprehend. First of all, are you forgetting about Mothra? The act an actual female creature in the Godzilla franchise that anybody could simp for? Also, do you realize how stupid this sounds? What you're saying would basically be like a dude watching Wonder Woman and then being like, hey, why isn't there a Wonder Man? You never hear a dude complaining about a female fictional character and why there isn't a male version of them. But when there's a male version of a character, all of a sudden females are like, it's time to take some female action and representation. Like, what? Like, I'd hate to break it to these girls, but King Kong and Godzilla, just because they're not female versions of them, they're not sexist. Now, I'm not saying this applies to all feminists. Some of them are actually relatively chill. But I'm talking about the hardcore ones who are always something along the lines of... Why is it Burger King? Why isn't it Burger Queen? Ma, can you open the door? I'm gonna be late for school. Shut up, I wasn't talking to you. And for the love of Chin Chin, can we please stop people like this? These are the kinds of people that make NNA productions look like a gift from God. Not to mention, people like this person give the Gacha community a bad name. This person here was called Shay Shay Gacha. They were a YouTube channel who basically got a lot of hate from the videos they made. On Jacksepticeye's dad dying, making fun of him and all that. 
They made one on how cancer isn't real, which is a lie, by the way. They made a lot of stuff that got them a lot of hate. People like Shay Shay Gacha are just so mediocre to the point where she takes part in giving the Gacha community a bad name and why it's so hated. Dumb Smash Bros players, those need to stop immediately, please. See, these are the kinds of players that, out of all of the characters in the roster, they pick the most spammable ones, and then when they lose a match, they spam the developer's Twitter saying that some characters are broken. Those are the kinds of players to insult you based on the main that you use. They basically find everything wrong with that main. And if you want a good representation of how that looks, here's Caleb City. What about King Dedede? Leave this planet. Yoshi, I hate you. Ness, everyone hates you. Okay, Lucina? <laughs> See, I almost just punched you right now. Little Mac then. Was that a joke? Joker! Sure. If you want everyone to know that you have zero skill. Oh my gosh! Jigglypuff! Get on the ground and fight, you coward. Mega Man! Get closer and fight, you coward. King K. Rule! Stop spamming! Donkey Kong! Stop grabbing! Wario! You're annoying! See, Smash players like this just need to learn to accept the fact that they're garbage and not rely on excuses when they lose. But in all seriousness, I think I'm just gonna end it here because I've gone on for about 11 minutes now and... Honestly, I, I enjoy making these rant videos. I'm happy I'm bringing them back, and I hope you guys are too, because I know a lot of you missed them. So, uh, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave me a like down below, and if you're new, subscribe, because we're almost at 300. Uh, but with that said, I'm KingsGuy24, and I'm signing off.